The associations with the stars, meanwhile, and with cosmology, carried a clear suggestion that was referenced in another fragment written by Dr. Tacnassus, one so verging on a legible that I presumed it to be written under the influence of alcohol or extreme distress. It read in part, The Clifford Hin appeared to me to be a breed apart, perhaps a native population of underground dwellers, a hominid species of antecedents hidden from the mainstream inhabitants on the exposed surface of the earth. Or perhaps they are a manifestation of the impossible, a cluster or communion of alien visitants from some other part of the galaxy, who once journeyed to our planet and who established contact with the druidic orders of the Pictish tribes, for reasons we can only guess at. And then there came another fragment, one which set my whole mind. It read, I initially believed that the Krifrahin had long since disappeared from our planet. But my investigations have led me to a point where it seems plausible they never left us. I believe that they may as yet exist in proximity to our surface-dwelling populations, that they have established a subterranean outpost which incredibly is still inhabited by them. It is the chief object of my research to follow my side. It was at that moment that I detected a sound coming from deeper in the cave system. It was indistinct and distant, but it was there, a vague chattering, a murmuring of echoes underscored by a sort of languid bellowing sound, unlike anything I'd ever heard before. It may have been an underground stream, or the sound of the sea being carried through the labyrinthine tunnels of the cave system. But I did not linger to find out. The reality of my predicament dawned on me, that I was exposed and alone in a place where my predecessor apparently had disappeared without a trace. I ran back from whence I came, scrambling over the crooked surface of the cave towards the entrance of Hell's Lum, and so beyond. I did not stop until I lay sprawled and breathless on the open earth, and even then I did not linger. I hastened away from Kulikan Bay and returned to the inn. The following day I sought immediate passage to Aberdeen, away from the remoteness of the north. I returned to the university, to the audio laboratory, to record the evidence of my accounts that you listen to now, which I hereby make available to patrons and members of the Institute. Thank mm -hmm. you.